It's the kind of thing you almost never see in Rich Hill. About the most excitement you can have in this small town. Steve Cohen and his workers spent the day watching military specialists and police officers across the road at a city public works building. Examining the thing Derek McCubbin found. It was laying right in this area. He had spotted this while searching for a set of keys. A mortar sitting on a tool bench. It definitely was deteriorated. It seemed to me like maybe it had been buried at some point. It looked rusty, but he wasn't taking any chances. I wasn't aware if it was training round or if it was live, but I knew it was concerning and shouldn't be there. He called the police, who brought in military specialists from Missouri and Kansas and kept a curious public at a safe distance. We had to treat it like it was live. All the right people were called and everybody conducted themselves properly. And it was uh, a happy ending with the boom. Never seen something like that. The specialists say that mortar was live when they blew it, it left this hole in the ground. It's about three feet wide and two feet deep. I was glad that it was taken care of and disposed of properly and that, that way we could clear the scene and and uh, get back to work. Police say workers from the water company had unearthed the mortar several months ago while drilling a post hole. Thank God they didn't blow up on them. They left it in the shop, forgotten until McCubbin came along. You never know what you're going to come across. I'm just glad it uh, went the way that it did and everybody's safe. You don't see things like this every day, but today he's glad he called it in. In Rich Hill, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.